Look at how juicy this is. Get in there, Liv. Get closer. Look at that. Perfection. Perfection. I'd actually really appreciate it if we can get another one of these made. Praise. Good afternoon. It is now Tuesday. Tomorrow I go on a quick fishing trip with uh, with my friends from home, and I'll tell you all about that uh, as soon as I get back. Uh, it's it's actually it's, it's our twenty second annual trip since 1997 my buds and i have been going to uh on a camping trip uh right now i'm actually going to be heading over to the guggen headquarters at which point i will be picking up an igloo cooler shout out to eagle coolers um not a sponsor stream or stream or video but they're, they're they're giving me one and then i have to go to the mexican store buy some arrachera i'm not saying that you can only buy it at the mexican store but i'm saying that you know they know what you know what we're doing there also hitch is going to be borrowing borrowing the x6 hitch the hitch six returns baby gonna go take some trips to, to Target. No, you're, okay. And uh, and then take it on a road trip. Nope. I think I might go to LA. Nope. See what Jack's up to. Mm. Living the foreign in, uh, in, in LA and maybe uh, figure it Stay there. Stay there forever. <laughs> <laughs> Change of plans. I'm not going to the Guggen Squad anymore because it's already 3.15 and there's going to be a lot of traffic on the way I get back. So now I have to go to Academy, buy a cooler there, and then put the meat in there because I like to marinate them. I like to freeze them overnight and then I like to. Uh, let them thaw out on the grill so that the juices stay molded and I'll explain it later. Okay, so apologies for that quick intermission where I said that I was going to go do something and I didn't. But here we are literally three minutes later from the time that I said that I was going to do that. I'm not going to the Guggen headquarters, which sucks. I should have gone yesterday. Or maybe I'll go tonight. Haven't decided. I'm home now. I got 20 pounds of arrachera that I have to prepare right now. So I bought uh, 10 limes or lemons i still don't know and in, in mexico they're just limones so when i moved here and i said there's limes and lemons it's the set we don't there's no i don't even know how we differentiate them or if there's a like yellow lemons or whatever anyway i got the green limes limes yeah they're limes i think anyway so here it is now i have to package and and uh and season all of these uh with the lemons that are in here with the seasoning that it, uh oh, oh, with this seasoning, Goya is what I'm gonna be using. And then I have to freeze it, right? So I have to prepare everything and then I have to put them into Ziploc bags, like big, big Ziploc bags, and then freeze them. Now, the reason that I freeze them, as I was saying earlier, is because I like for them to be. I don't even know how to explain it, but trust the process. It works. You 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 freeze it, and then as it, as it unfreezes, it like sucks up all the juice around it, and it becomes this big big marinade. Delicious. Step number one is to prepare your operating station, and you do that by grabbing some clinging wrap, also known as saran wrap, and then you put it on the surface. The reason that you do this is because not because the surface is clean, because it is, and it gets cleaned every day, but because you are gonna get the surface super, super dirty with the meat juice, with the seasoning, and that is why we are doing it on this, because I'm, I'm, I'm planning on laying it all out. I'm gonna show you right now, for example. Piece number one, and I, please understand and know that I washed my hands already, okay? Boom, piece number one. So, uh, Liv is, is helping me record and at the same time learning how to prepare the best arrachera ever just in case she ever wants to cook her own arrachera when she goes on a camping trip with a group of girls and nothing but girls. So, uh, let's move on here. Look at this. Now, the other thing that, 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 I, that I actually, Judith taught me this trick. I've never ever used scissors to cut meat. And I never really thought to do it, but it's, it's actually kind of genius. And if you guys have already done that, or if you guys do that, then kudos to you. Yay you. 
All right, so uh, Liv, show the meat that's uh, that, that I'm placing it right now. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to cut to where we have it all set up, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we have it laid out, now I'm gonna I'm about to do this three times because this didn't even cover half of the stuff that we have in there. It's got it covers it's like a third. So really simple. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna use what I'm using today is uh, an all-purpose seasoning from Goya called adobo. Uh, it's got pepper, garlic. Let me see the ingredients. Uh, pepper, garlic, salt, uh, some phosphate stuff. It prevents caking apparently. Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this four more times, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like all packaged up, and then what I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's being in the freezer freezing. We have a whole bunch of visitors right now. They smell the goodness. Hey, they smell the goodness. Get away from here before I beat you up and put you on YouTube accidentally. Hey, pause. Now that it's all done, you have big chunks like this one that need to be cut up. So that's where I utilize these scissors and then I clip, 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 clip. You know, as so I'm sitting here, preparate, pre preparating, preparing this, I say to myself, wait a minute, Hector, what are you eating for, for dinner? And I'm like, you know what? I don't have anything to eat for dinner yet. So you better believe that I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the guys the entire process because now I'm gonna eat a little bit of this before they go to freeze. Or I'm just gonna take a couple of them out and then we're gonna freeze them either way. Uh, here's the process. Ready? This is what they look like uh, before they're prepared, and now, boom! They are now all packaged up and ready to go. Typically, I have a bigger Ziploc bag, but for some reason, Drew didn't order it this time around. I don't know why. It's not her fault, okay? I'm not saying that it's her fault. It's her fault. Uh, but now I'm gonna squeeze the limes into this. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna seal them up, squeeze the air out of there, and then I'm gonna put them in the freezer, and then I'm gonna put them in a cooler tomorrow morning, dump them in the, uh, in the boat, and then we're off to the races. It's gonna be awesome. Mm. Also, also, I'm gonna take a couple of these strands from in there, and I'm gonna make some tacos for tonight. Mm. So now that they're packaged up, this way, they go in the freezer. I'm not gonna open it because Jude probably has a whole bunch of goodness up here. Look at this paletas. The farmer's dog, Benji Pablo's pork recipe, Coco's beef recipe, beef for Pablo, Henry's chicken. Yeah, this is a dog house. I'm kidding. Uh, okay, time to put it away. Oh uh, yes. It is that time. Now this is what I'm eating, obviously, for dinner. I'm making a little bit extra. We're cooking a little bit extra just for, uh, just in case somebody wants to steal my food. But, um, a lot of people like to use charcoal. I'm okay with charcoal, I love charcoal. But, there is something beautiful about being able to turn that on and within minutes be ready to put the high heat, high intensity heat with a very close watch on your meat. It's the way to do it, in my opinion. All right, and obviously, as you guys can see here, I the, the meat's already cooked, it's off the grill, and now I'm chopping it up like this, because it's easier. It's really easy to grab the, point, point, point it at me, Liv, point it at me, point it at me. It's really easy for you to put just a, a, a slab of meat like this on your tortilla and just go to work. I know that, and, I, and that's my intuition too, boys and girls. But take the time, take the time, chop it up, make the right taco, it, it deserves you deserve better. And, and taking the time to make something beautiful like I'm about to is the way to do it. Look at how juicy this is. Get in there, Liv, get closer, look at that. Perfection, perfection. Now, the reason for that is because it's high intensity heat. As long as you keep an eye on it, you can make magic happen. You're not gonna, I mean, look, a little char ain't never hurt nobody. Okay, are you guys ready? Look at this, right off the, right off the command. Then we're gonna grab some meat because you already you already you already cut it up. Look at that, you already cut it up. One scoop takes takes care of that. Follow me, right here. Little squeeze of the ooh, not too much right there. Boom, salsa. Ooh, this is so spicy. Mmm. Okay, what else? Chile. I mean, uh, cheese. Mmm. 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 Voila, now up here, up here, up here, up here. Now, you make like 14 of these, and you can cut a lot, you can call it a night. Good night. <sighs> Guys, 
I've just spent the last hour to hour and a half uh, fixing up the boat, getting it ready, putting all the baits, uh, went to the store, but anyway, it has been an extreme, extreme hassle. Um, but look at this. It's still not frozen, but it's cold enough. It's getting there. Another thing is that um, I didn't, I didn't have a cooler, uh, and then last minute I hit up uh, Rob from, uh, you know Rob, my boy Rob, and he hooked it up with this crazy, crazy e glue. So I'm gonna get the ice. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of ice in there. I'm gonna put the arrachetas in there, and then I'll put it in there. And then by the time we get to uh, where we're going to tomorrow, and uh, as well, actually, as you're watching this, I'm, I've already been at that place one day because you're watching this on Friday. Happy Friday, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this vlog. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed the video, please run out and leave without leaving a like. And also, also on that note. I cannot thank you guys enough for the overwhelming, and I'm, I'm just like, not, not underwhelming, overwhelming support that you guys have been showing this channel. Not only this channel, but the second channel. The second channel is pop. I had a video there that had 430,000 views, and then another one had 192,000 views. That channel is popping. So if you guys haven't followed the new channel, go. Uh, go watch a video from there, leave a like, come back to this one, leave a like, and then leave a comment and tell me that you did that because you're awesome. Anyway, thanks so much for the likes. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully as usual, and as per usual, at the same day.